Hi y'all, this is Fix It With Friend, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. And I was doing a quick little task outside and figured that I would record this so that y'all could see what we do in our yard for our rain barrels. So with these two pieces, you can turn your rain barrel into something that is a little more accessible and also helps extend the usefulness of your spout or the little um, faucet that you have on the barrel. And once I show you this, this will make more sense in the case that I may be calling these the wrong things. But here you have the gooseneck um, piece with a uh, shut off valve so this is your little shut off valve and then here there is another piece that I attach to that that gives you an additional spout and what do they call this the brass holes splitter so instead of having just one faucet for your rain barrel it gives you two and both of these again have the shut off valve so I'll show you how this makes your rain barrel work a little more efficiently for you so what I do here, and I'm doing this left-handed since I'm holding the camera, is attach this to the rain barrel. So I won't be able to show you a full set of this, but hopefully we're expecting some rain today in New Orleans, so maybe I can come back and show you later. So what I do here is attach this so it extends the neck of the faucet and gives you a little more access. So I like to have this because I, again, water everything in my garden with my rain barrels. We have four rain barrels now. We have three 55 gallon rain barrels and one 85 gallon rain barrel. And I will walk you around and give you a shot of those in case you haven't seen them before in any of my pictures. But this again extends the neck so it makes it a little more accessible. And also since I sit the rain barrels like down on the ground when I'm filling them in, makes it um, easier for them to reach those and gives you a little bit more ability to direct where the water is going. So now I'm gonna attach that other piece. And again, I'm doing this with one hand, but it goes on really easy. And if my husband were doing this, he'd probably get out the plumber's tape and put that in just to make sure this has a tighter seal. But they do have different valves inside and I've noticed that the seal is usually pretty tight in general. And if not, I just do some adjustments while I'm outside working with these. So again I'm probably not going to get the tightest seal right now because I'm doing this with my left hand but you do want to make sure that this has a really tight seal because you don't want to have water leaking while the rain is collecting because then that defeats the purpose and you lose your water um, whenever the next rain event happens so again these are both right now in the off position I'm pretty sure this one at the back is in the off position and you want to make sure of that as well because like I said you don't want this to be out you don't want this to be going and you're inside it's raining and you're thinking oh yay I'm getting so much water for the next time I need to water my plants and you come outside and your barrel sounds like this because it's empty because all the water came out and didn't collect so always make sure that your um, pieces are in the off position so that it will actually hold water and not just let it run freely but again instead of just having one faucet when I come outside with my um, pitchers or what is it watering pails or whatever I decide to use that day instead of just using one at a time I use two and you can even take the holes that we had on the existing setup twist it back on and I apologize if this is out of focus and have one that I use to water my adjacent beds and still use the other one to fill up pitchers and pails so I have liked this I think this was initially something that my husband suggested and we have added them to all of our rain barrels that I'm going to walk around and show you and on top of that we have even um, on some of them I've taken one of these and added another one of the splitters so instead of having just one splitter on it it'll have four connections or I think I have one where there's a hose and then another connector so there's three open spouts on it and it again makes it really efficient for me makes it easy to water things and fill up a bunch of pitchers to um, water some of my container plants and we're actually about to upgrade our system and change one of these faucets to where it connects to an irrigation system so I'll share that with you as the journey continues thanks for watching well, no, I'm going to walk you around and let you see the rain barrel. So let's do this one here. And it's kind of messy back here, but you'll see. This is this rain barrel. This is one of the 55-gallon ones. This is this rain barrel. As I mentioned, I have different 
watering containers, pitchers, water bottles. It all depends on what I'm trying to water that day. I use the water bottles for my small container gardens or my hanging plants. I use some of these old drink jugs to water different things around the garden. I find that those handles are really um, user friendly or um, better for me with my wrist ailments right now. And on top I have some purple vines that I'm propagating and put outside so they could go back to that purple color since some of them were propagating indoors and had reverted to green and that's not the color we want so this one may be a little harder to see because this is a tighter space but this is my big 85 gallon rain barrel that we most recently added I didn't show you the other 55 gallon because it looks exactly like the first two and then I came back to this one because I forgot to show you that this is one where I mentioned the setup where I had one splitter that my husband installed and we added the hose to it so there's the initial neck extender with a splitter with the holes on one side then we came back and added another splitter so I'm able to fill two pictures at once but also use this hose and not have to keep taking it on and off so that's what I mentioned before but like I said definitely helps with filling things up right now I have this one full all of these are waiting because I have emptied literally all of my rain barrels waiting for rain here in New Orleans so hopefully we get some rain soon but I love using my rain barrels as I tell folks I do not turn on my faucet to water my plants or water my beds this is a bed that I recently redid out here in the yard but as always this is fix it with Fran where I talk about all things faith family food and fun I do believe that God has given us all gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world. And if you've yet to figure that thing out, I pray that you would seek him, seek his face. And until next time, I pray that you would find that thing and fix it. Hopefully this tip is helpful for you. Thanks for watching.